The installation of smart meters is an important upgrade to our electricity grid. BC Hydro is in the throes of an enormous publicity campaign. Its website, rife with information about why the Crown Corporation needs to spend close to $1 billion replacing every single old analog meter in the province with a digital wireless smart meter. It argues it's the way the rest of the world is going and BC simply must upgrade. We've got uh, a business case that goes out over 20 years. It'll recover the cost and essentially deliver about $1.6 billion worth of benefits to the province. The way it works now, when your power goes out, and especially if the outage is small, Hydro really doesn't know about it unless someone makes a phone call. Travel Center, Jessica speaking. But now, when a smart meter is unplugged to simulate a power failure, Within seconds, a red icon pops up on a screen, and if it's a case of tampering, the icon is yellow, both showing a precise location, in this case, BC Hydro's smart meter lab in Burnaby. The radio um, frequency is 900 megahertz. It actually sends a signal to a, a pole top collector that collects all of the information from the smart meters in the neighborhood, sends it back to BC Hydro, where it's digested. There's also a second radio in these meters, 2.4 gigahertz, the same as some cordless phones. If you want, and only if you ask Hydro to enable that radio, it can show you inside your home just how much each appliance is costing you. Hydro says even if enabled, it cannot access this information. What customers decide to uh, use within their own home in terms of home energy management systems is completely their choice. Uh, and that, uh, that data is actually not accessible by BC Hydro. The other big bonus for Hydro is to stop, or at least reduce, the amount of power that's stolen from the grid every year by BC's massive marijuana industry. We believe that we're losing upwards of $100 million a year in electricity theft, and that smart meters are help us uh, step forward and recover that money. If that's accurate and power thieves can be stopped, in 10 years the meters would pay for themselves. There are also enormous savings to be made by better matching how much power BC Hydro supplies to its grid versus the demand that's out there. With the old meters, Hydro has to put out far more power onto its grid than is needed. And once on those wires, it can't be recovered. Now that is obviously the pro side of things, but make no mistake, not everyone is on the smart meter bandwagon. Tomorrow on the News Hour, we'll talk about some of the concerns being raised about smart meters, including privacy rights, protecting your personal information, health concerns about the electromagnetic frequencies that some people fear may be harmful, and possible bugs that may affect the new technology. Now, there's even an application for an injunction against the BC Utilities Commission to stop this project, Chris, so we'll have more on that tomorrow.